My digital artifact for BCM325 is a series of YouTube videos and blogs mapping out my future career plan as a music journalist and creative within the Australian music industry, while also referencing the short and long-range future. So far, I have released two episodes and posted both of these on my YouTube and my blog. The first episode covers my work at AU Dollars and maps out my short and medium range goals with reference to how these will contribute to my long range future. Receiving a full time paid position at AU Dollars, hosting a series of long form interviews with different Australian artists and industry people, and beginning to venture in events management and PR. The second episode looks at my newly started clothing brand, Mori Boys, and now I hope to incorporate this into my creative career as well as exploring the historic relationship between hip hop and streetwear fashion. The work of StreetX, Vinco and No One Network has been inspirational to my brand and what I intend to do with the scene and how I hope to contribute to the culture. We look back at certain moments in hip hop over in America and you, are, you can identify the time and place just from what an artist is wearing. In this episode, I try to make my video more appealing to the masses and my wider target audience of Australian hip hop fans. One change that I made to my project relates to the layout of each episode. In episode one, I focus on my career, while in the blog, I discuss more of the background research and general information on career planning. The reason I changed this format in the second episode is so my YouTube videos can exist as standalones for anyone who comes across it, while the blog has an inherently smaller audience and will always include the embedded video anyway. Looking at the production timeline I made for myself in the pitch, I'm making good progress and seem to be on track. If I can maintain this, I would like to be able to include another aspect to my digital artifact. Um, one easy way off the top of my head that I could do this is through Twitter, where I could directly create feedback loops with my peers and ask for feedback on things regarding my career that maybe I'm unsure of or would like to get an outside perspective on. I did retweet my second episode to my professional Twitter to help widen the reach to potential audience members, but even this still doesn't feel like quite enough. In defense of this though, my digital artifacts target audience is primarily myself and future employers, and I've found that this project has provided me with an extreme amount of clarity and confidence in my career plan. Furthermore, my digital artifact relates to my career, so I could focus on increasing my audience on my professional accounts over the next couple of weeks instead. Another feedback loop I have created is through the multiple discussions with different creators within the field to help shape my career aspirations and the practicality of achieving these. Implementing this feedback has encouraged me to update my resume and cover letter, which was helpful when applying for a full-time job in public relations that I'm waiting to hear back from. This could also present another feedback loop, depending on whether or not I make it to the interview stages and potentially get the job. In reference to the subject materials, Bell's opinions on a futurist responsibility and Baudrillard's argument on hyper-realities has been incredibly insightful in understanding how I should progress through my career. Approaching my career through the lens of a futurist has helped shape new ideas and methods to achieving what I'd like to in the short, medium and long-range future. As for what's next for my digital artifact, I plan on releasing one more episode, but I'm not too sure as to what this will be about. I think the most likely topic I will look at will be investigating new technologies and trends in the Australian music industry that will help me visualise how I should adapt as a music journalist to succeed through my career. Looking past BCM325, my digital artefact has been incredibly helpful and will continue to be of value to me as I progress through my career. If you'd like to keep up to date with my digital artefact, all of the blogs will be linked down below as well as all of my socials. Thanks for listening.